A week that started a little slow in terms of the reading front, but then really picked up there towards the end. Hi, I'm Nick Hill with Shelf Esteem, and this is my weekly reading roundup for the week ending July 28th, 2024. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick Hill with Shelf Esteem. I'm a composer for film, television, and gaming, specializing in book adaptations. Most recently, my music can be found on The Wheel of Time Season 2, His Dark Materials Season 3, and the official Brent Weeks companion album for a series Lightbringer that came out last year. So I wanted to take this time to talk a little bit about yet another reading roundup, because every week I try to do these and put these out on Sunday mornings if I can, and kind of uh, let you know what I've been reading and kind of what's been going on in my music life and, and, and everything like that. And if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. Um, it really helps out the channel, and I want to make sure I continue to make content that you all want to view. So let me know in the comments as well what's working for you on this channel and what's not working, because I always want to tail the tailor the channel towards like our mutual shared love of books. So without further ado, on to the books. Um, so first of all, I think I mentioned in a previous weekly update on Monday, I believe I'd put it out a little bit late, that I was only maybe 40% of the way into Royal Assassin. And you look at this book, it's pretty thick, you know, and it's like just wall walls of text. And uh, the thing with Robin Hobb is, you know, she's such a fantastic writer that you don't really want to rush things. You know, it's kind of like a sipping on a fine glass of wine or something. You really want to sip and savor the words as she's writing them. So the, the frustrating thing is the story is so good, you really want to speed run through it. So that was kind of the thing I was grappling with this week. But I actually managed to finish the whole book this week which I, you know, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do. I was going to try to get it in before the end of the month, but I just couldn't stop reading it. And so I just found myself wanting to read it during work breaks and things like that. And it's one of those things where it's like, I wanted to just kind of savor the the words and, and some of the most beautiful quotes I've ever read in a fantasy book are in this book. Um, and so, you know, I wanted to kind of relax and enjoy it. But then also I'm just sitting there like, I don't know if you all have seen that, uh, that gif of like the baby reading really fast, you know, um, that's how I felt like during this week trying to read this book, but I ended up finishing it. And I got to say, I, I had heard mixed things about this book because everybody talks about it being such a slow burn. Um, and I am kind of iffy on the slow burn thing. I think when it's done really well and when it's a character focused thing, then it can be actually really wonderful to read. Um, but oftentimes it's not really done that great or, it, you know, it doesn't quite land in terms of either the way it's written, the prose, it feels meandering. So that was kind of my concern with this book. And man, I like, I didn't care what she wrote in this book. I was like, if you walk through a forest for the next 50 pages, I'm there for it, you know. So I was loving the ride every every which way. And even when it, you know, in, in conventional way, in terms, one would think, oh, this dragged a little bit. I never felt like it was an issue. I think um, the the animal companion that's introduced into this book, Night Eyes, is like now one of my new favorite characters. I cannot wait to read the third book and see more about uh, about him. And um, just, you know, kind of the way Fitz's character has been evolving in this book. There's a lot more political intrigue in this. And uh, I'm excited to talk to you all more in depth. I think uh, John from Disquiet and Dragons and I are, have been doing this as a buddy read. So I'm going to kind of converse with him and see if he wants to do like a chat on this or if we're going to just kind of go to um, Assassin's Quest and uh, do a chat on that um, with uh, Ellie from Bibbidi Bobbidi Books. We're doing kind of like a, a buddy read between us three. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of exploring this further. But all I can say right now is I absolutely loved it. And, you know, speaking of books this week, I finished this one this morning. Actually, I read the last 100 pages and I was trying to think about like, do I want to spend a little bit more time reading today? Because it ended up being that I, I finished some of my music projects a little bit earlier than I expected. And I was kind of doing some chores around the house. And I'm like, ah, maybe I'll try to pick up this book by Stephen King, Elevation. It's a shorter one. After a chonky fantasy book with a lot of lore and stuff like that, I kind of wanted to do something that was like a bit of a snack. And so I decided to pick this up and I was like, oh, maybe I could finish this before the end of the month. So spoiler alert, I finished this book today. <laughs> I read it in one sitting. I literally just sat on the couch and I just read through it. And, you know, although I wouldn't say it's one of Stephen King's best works or anything like that, it was just a charming little story. You know, it's more of a novella than a novel. It's like 150 pages. Um, and it's really also a character study. This character is going through 
kind of a life altering event in that he, um, it, you know, this is ex explained on the back of the book. And it's also explained in the first couple pages of the book that like, when he stands on a scale, it seems like he's losing weight, even if he has like clothes on and stuff like that. So just kind of an interesting premise. I thought it was going to be like a thinner knockoff or something, but it is far different than that. And it's more of a character study of like, what happens when you have um something come into your life that is unintended and how do you how do you greet that with grace and i really like the main characters dynamics and how they evolve through the course of the short novella so i really enjoy this you know i i i'd heard from a lot of people that they did not like this book at all so i was kind of not sure what to think about it but i'm really glad i read it and it was a nice little snack you know as i kind of get ready for um, what I'm going to be reading next, which is going to be what I'm going to focus on, you know, for the next couple of days into the end of the month, which is finally finishing The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I, I, I think I told you in a previous weekly update, I was about like 200 pages from being done with that book. And I kind of took a back seat on that one because I really wanted to focus on A, the buddy read, because I didn't want to miss out on finishing that before the month was up. And then I wanted something that felt a little different. I think if I went to Name of the Wind immediately after Royal Assassin, I wouldn't enjoy the poetic prose that Patrick Rothfuss writes in that book um, nearly as much as kind of taking a little bit of a break. It's switching genres, even if it's uh, kind of a brief foray into that. So another King book in my under my belt, 46 now I've read um, as of this uh, as of this taping. So, you know, I'm looking forward to exploring more King. I'm going to be reading more uh, one a month as until I finish all of his works. That's kind of my goal, at least. Um, so let me know, actually, also in the comments, um, if you're re watching this and you have some recommendations like, oh, if you haven't checked this one out, you got to check that one out. Or an underrated gem of Stephen King's you think I should check out. Let me know as well. I always want to make this a dialogue. So um, I really appreciate your recommendations on this as well. Um, so as far as next week, I'm going to be reading um, that one. And then there's going to be a couple other books I'm going to start next week. But I'm going to actually save that for my August TBR um you know, book video that I'm going to put up this coming week. So that actually leads to a really good point. What are we going to do on the channel this coming week? So this coming week, I want to do that August TBR video. I also am kind of playing around with the idea of making more book adaptation related content, because, you know, I think I mentioned to you, I had composed for a number of book adaptations, Wheel of Time, His Dark Materials. And I think it'd be really fun to kind of speak on that, because I know that's something that, you know, that's obviously not many people have experienced in that. And what is it like kind of trying to work on the musical side of things, adapting, um, adapting an author's work and kind of what that entails. So I was thinking of either doing some music related content, or I could do something like a tier list ranking of the best book soundtracks, you know, uh, or like book adaptation soundtracks, you know, like a Lord of the Rings adaptation, like what would that, you know, where would that fall on a tier list ranking or something? Um, so that's kind of what I was thinking of doing as well. I'm, I'm playing around with a few ideas, but if you think of any as well, you know, I've had really great ideas come from friends of this channel through comments and we've had great dialogue, you know, that came as a result of that. So, you know, I would love to know from you uh, what you think would be something that we could kind of explore together. Um, so yeah, let me know. Um, and then on the music front, the last thing I wanted to say is, you know, it was another gangbusters week. I was working like really long hours. And so, you know, the first half of my week was ba barely any reading at all. And I kind of got to make up for it in the second half as I found my footing, um, both in my music and, and in this, um, in the reading front. So uh, on the music front, I composed music for a horror short film uh, called Ayaka's Game, which I'm really excited for, um, you know, kind of uh, seeing this all come together. And I just saw some of the VFX today. It's coming, you know, it's all looking really good it's very influenced by kind of like the grudge and, and those early 2000s movies. So I'm really looking forward to kind of exploring more of the musical universe of this and get ready for some live recording as well. So that that happened. I kind of worked on the last of the cues for this Audible uh, audio drama. I'm helping a friend out by writing a bunch of music for that. And um, Audible, I think, is reviewing it now. And that will be due in a couple of days. So, you know, that's kind of going forth. And then I actually had a little bit of break from the orchestration work. I think I told you I was working on a nature docuseries. I, I, it's a little bit of a week break. So I'm going to actually be working on that next week as well. Um, so I'm so glad things are starting to pick up a little bit for the industry because I, I know people have been struggling. Like it's been a crazy, uh, crazy ride, like over the last year, year or so, year and some change. You know, I, I've heard of people who've been in the business for 25 years who are Emmy winning screenwriters, you know, and they're driving Uber. Like it's pretty bleak out there. So 
to see that, you know, co uh, the contracts are being negotiated and ratified and people are starting to get back to work. It is really a heartening feeling. And I hope that that means there'll be more book adaptations on the way because, you know, anything related to books, I'm all there for. So um, with that, I just wanted to, you know, leave this weekly update for you. Always a reading roundup of kind of what's happened to me in this week. Let me know also in the comments what's happened for you in this week. Anything you enjoyed. I always love to, you know, trade recommendations and kind of, you know, help each other find books that are aligned with our, you know, mutual and also singular interests. So with that, I'm Nick Hill with Shelf Esteem. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. And I look forward to hitting you with more videos this coming week. And it looks like I'll be able to do three videos this coming week. So back to our regular scheduling programming. So with that, be good to yourselves, be good to each other. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.